Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Sandy, do you have a minute? Yes, John. I'm on my break. What's going on? Not much. I just wanted to see how you were. How's married life treating you? Great, except for my mother-in-law. Sometimes I think I married her instead of my husband. How about you? Harry, do you like the opera? No, not really. Why is that? It is called real art. Well, it's very expensive and they're usually singing in another language. That kind of gets on my nerves. Yeah, that makes sense. I hated the hand-me-downs to wear when I was a kid. That's understandable. Every kid likes new clothes. It was not just that. I didn't like them because they never fitted me. Could you tell me what university you want to go to, John? Pardon? What university would you enter? University? Why? You asked me last year. Oh, I forget. Sorry. I went to Harvard University. Did you? And what course did you take there? God save me. Is there anything wrong with you? Didn't I tell you? I've not known. Perhaps, I've got a bad memory. I did a BA in economics. Remember? Terrific. BA. Again and again B. A. Hello. Is that the box office? Yes. I'd like to book two tickets for the film, Jane Eyre, for this evening, please. Just a minute, please. Oh, I'm sorry. All the tickets for tonight have been sold out. What a pity. How about tomorrow evening? Oh, you're lucky. There are just two tickets left. Do you want to take them? Wonderful. I'll take them. Okay. Your name and telephone number, please. Wang Min. Telephone number is 13,811,658. Can I pick the tickets this afternoon? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to be impossible to make ends meet if I lose my job. Don't worry. I don't think you're going to lose your job over one mistake. It was a rather big mistake. When you work as an investment advisor, one small mistake can cost the company millions. But it wasn't just you who was involved, right? You were only doing what your supervisor told you to do. That's true, but my supervisor is very dishonest. There's no reason he needs to tell our boss the truth. I'm sure he will tell our boss that it was all my fault, and there's nothing I can do about that. My boss won't believe me if I tell him the truth. Let's think realistically about what might happen. How much money do you have in your savings? I have enough to live off of for about three months. But I really don't want to spend my life savings on just living. I'd rather invest my money somehow. Well, you can't have everything. Let's just figure out what you will do if you lose your job. When is your contract up on your apartment? Next month. So I can either move out then or renew my contract for another year. Well, that's good. If you lose your job. You can just move in with me until you find another job. That will save you plenty of money. That's very generous of you. I guess that would work.
If you lose your job, you just have to go for a few months without buying all the junk you usually buy. If you live frugally, you'll save plenty of money. I guess working with so much money has made me rather greedy. Maybe losing my job would be a good thing. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.